When games were sampled throughout a season, it was found that the home team won 118 of 185 basketball games, and the home team won 58 of 70 field hockey games. Does there appear to be a significant difference in the home field advantage or win percentage in basketball as compared to hockey? What is the 95% confidence interval estimate for the difference in the home field advantage or win percentage between basketball and hockey? Express this interval using margin of error notation in terms of percentages. What do you conclude about the home field advantage? In answering part one of this question, and to see if there is a significant difference in the win percentages in basketball as compared to hockey, we will let basketball be population one and field hockey be population two. We will then go through the four steps of hypothesis testing to determine if there is a significant difference in the percentages. Writing the claim, we will ask, is P1 not equal to P2? The opposite of the claim, P1 equal to P2. Step three is to identify the null hypothesis, which is the opposite of the claim because it contains the equal sign, which then means that the claim is the alternative hypothesis. Turning to the TI-83, to conduct this hypothesis test, we'll go to the STAT button, then the test menu. And since we are conducting a test about two different populations, we will select one of the tests that contains the number two. Since our test is specifically about two population percentages or proportions, we will choose number six, the two proportion Z test. Inputting our data, X1 is the number of basketball games that were won, which was 118 out of a total of 185, which is N1. For field hockey, the home team won 58 out of a total of 70 field hockey games. Looking at the symbol in the alternative hypothesis, we have the not equal to symbol. And now when we calculate, we see that the results for the two proportion Z tests with the alternative hypothesis P1 not equal to P2 give us a Z test statistic of approximately negative 2.94. The p-value of 0 0.003 is an extremely low p-value, and if p-value is low, we know that we reject the null hypothesis. p1 hat is the percentage of won games for basketball, and p2 hat the percentage of games won in field hockey. P hat is the total percentage of home games won when we combine both sports. This is sometimes called the pooled percentage. Since our p-value was very low, we reject the null hypothesis, which means in this case we support the claim that there is a significant difference in the home field advantage or win percentage in basketball as compared to hockey. Considering question two, which is to find the 95% confidence interval estimate for the difference in the home field advantage or win percentage between basketball and hockey, we again turn to the TI-83 and going to the stat test menu and scrolling down so that the number seven Z interval is at the top, we go to the interval with the same name as the test we just performed, which will be letter B, the two proportion Z interval. Since we performed a two proportion Z test, the input for the two proportion Z test is brought over into the input for the two proportion Z interval. The confidence level is 95%, and when we hit enter, we have the interval estimate for the difference in the home field advantage or win percentage between basketball and hockey. We notice that both of these numbers are negative, and that is because the win percentage or home field advantage in field hockey was much greater than the home field advantage as compared to basketball. Expressing this interval using margin of error notation in terms of percentages, we first need to find the point estimate for the difference in the percentages between basketball and hockey, find the average 
of the lower and upper bound of this interval. And taking that average, we see that the point estimate for the interval is approximately 19.07% or 0 0.1907. And to find the margin of error, we can subtract the lower bound and upper bound and divide by 2. So hitting second entry, we'll just simply come back and replace the plus sign with a minus sign. And here then we have the margin of error. So that expressing this interval in terms of margin of error notation, in terms of percentages, we could say that the interval is 19.07% plus or minus 11.22%. Answering the last question, what do you conclude about the home field advantage? We would conclude that the home field advantage between basketball and field hockey are not the same, that field hockey has a greater home field advantage, and that the difference in the home field advantage between field hockey and basketball is approximately 19% plus or minus 11%.